It's no secret that cars made by German manufacturer Mercedes are oozing with style and sophistication. An example of that is the new E-Class Coupe. It replaces the CLK and whilst it shares some of its underpinnings with its saloon relative, it's in a class of its own. The sharp edges, quad headlamps and sweeping roofline create an attractive and dramatic shape. It boasts practicality as well because this boot is plenty big enough to suit most people's needs. If you're a golf player, you can fit two bags in there. And there's room in the back despite its coupe credentials. I'm only five foot four and a half, but six footers will also be fine. It ticks the comfort box. The seats are soft and they support you well, cup holders and your very own electric windows. Then when it comes time to getting out of the car, thanks to the rather large doors, that's not a drama. The front is just as impressive. It feels stylish and up to date in here, but at the same time, it is reminiscent of Mercedes from the past in terms of layout. For example, we've got one stalk on the left-hand side that does the windscreen wash and the indicator and the seat controls. So anyone who has owned a Mercedes before is quite likely to feel at home in a relatively short space of time. Now I'm going to show you a quick medley of all the storage places. The black and silver combination and layout with large dials make it well suited to those that want a car to be functional and stylish. Mercedes have always been very good with up to the minute safety equipment and the E-Class Coupe is no exception to that rule. It's a very clever car, it actually monitors how you're driving and if it thinks you're getting drowsy, it suggests you stop for a coffee break. It can even anticipate accidents and it's clever with the fuel as well because if you avoid the entry level model and go for the CDI, it returns over 50 miles to the gallon. The ride is smooth, as is the seven-speed automatic gearbox, which is enhanced by the lack of road and wind noise. It's easy to drive and comfortable with a lower driving position than the saloon, the SE being softer and the Sport being more suited to those that like to drive a bit quicker. But a BMW 3 Series does feel a little more nimble on more winding country roads. Sadly, that brings me on to a much worse negative. There is no AMG version. What a disappointment. You can get the wheels, kit and mats, but no 6.2 litre V8 with 525 horses to play with. But is that enough to put you off? Of course not, look at it. There are not many cars that when you park them up, you have to just turn around and give them another glance before walking off. And let's not forget, it is also practical and well equipped. And how many people would like to arrive at their destination in a Mercedes Benz?